So our first look is dressy date night, a night out with the girls type of look. <laughs> we start off with our top, which is from an online boutique called Oh Mighty. And yes, it is Beyonce on it. You guys know I love, love, love Beyonce. And then we move on to our leather skater skirt, which I got from Forever 21. And it contrasts perfectly with the boots. Then we move down to our boots, which are from Topshop. They are heel boots and they are so, so, so comfortable. And then we move on to our coat, which is from Forever 21. And you throw the coat on and you are ready, ready, ready to go on your outing. So our second look is casual chic with a hint of yes. <laughs> we start off with our leather tee which I got from Express and then we move on to our plaid pants which I got from an online store called She Inside and they have some cute, cute, cute zippers in the front and these pants are so comfortable. And then we move on to our boots, which I got from Forever 21. And again, the coat is from Forever 21 and the leather in the coat contrasts perfectly with the leather tee and the leather boots. And we move on to our first scarf, which is also from Forever 21. You can pin it on like I usually do, or just leave it on your shoulder, or you can clip it in because there is a clip in the front of the scarf. Right. So for look number three, I'm giving you a chill day sporty look. We start off with our flannel, which I got from Forever 21. I made sure I got it a size bigger because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. And my leather leggings are also from Forever 21. Now we move down to our polka dot socks, which I got from H&M. And of course, move down to our sneakers, which are Nike Roche Runs. They are so comfortable. And we take out our coat, which again is from Forever 21. We put the coat on. And a little sidebar, like I said in my first Bria's Closet video, Forever 21 has some amazing coats, so you should definitely go over and check it out. And now we add on our scarf, which if you live in New York City, you know you can pick one of these up from your local street vendors for like $10. <laughs> and we tie the scarf around, and this scarf goes perfectly with the green in the sneakers, as well as it makes the green in the flannel pop out even more. And this scarf is just a great addition to an already simple, sporty look. So you are ready to go on your way. All of the links for these looks as well as my blog and my Instagram and other things will be in the description below. So make sure you check it out after you watch this video. Hey everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten and I hope you enjoyed my lookbook on how to style this coat with three different looks. And before I go, I just have two notes to leave you guys with. I know I said I wasn't going to talk this week, but of course, I always have something to say. So the first one I'm going to leave you with is, if you don't know, Single Ladies is starting back in two weeks, March 18th. And this past weekend, I found out that Denise Bassey will not be returning to Single Ladies. Something told me to go check her Instagram because I was like, I know she just had a baby and... She hasn't been posting anything, and I'm like, she's had a baby, so how is she going to record for the show? So, I went on her Instagram, and somebody wrote under one of her pictures, um, I just want to know if you're coming back to Single Ladies, and she actually responded to that person, and she wrote, nope, I will not be returning to that show. So, I was kind of sad, because she is one of my favorite characters. I grew to love, really, really love her, so she will not be returning. It's a sad day, I just wanted to let you guys know. But in her place, Melissa De Sosa, Shelby from The Best Man, will be replacing her. I am not sure if she is coming as a new character or she's replacing the character Raquel. I have no idea, but I do know because I did Google Single Ladies and she is going to be on the fourth season of Single Ladies. So for now, like the three people that I know for sure are coming back is Latoya Luckett and Travis Winfrey, who plays Omar, and now Melissa De Souza. I 
Yes, Kelly Osborne announced this past weekend that she will be leaving Fashion Police. This past Monday, there wasn't a new episode of Fashion Police because they are looking for a replacement. There have been rumors that Ocho Cinco, Chad Ocho Cinco, or Khloe Kardashian want to replace Kelly Osborne. So we're not sure, I'm not sure, of who will be replacing Kelly Osborne when it will be starting back. I don't know. I just feel like they need to just cancel Fashion Police, like I've been saying. Or hire me. Hey E, I'm Bria Van Kooten. And <laughs> I know about fashion, so hire me. But anyways, besides that, yeah, Kelly Osborne would not be returning, will not be returning to Fashion Police. Her mother, Cheryl Osborne, left a statement this weekend that she's very proud of her daughter for standing her ground and doing what she wants. So hey, I wish Kelly Osborne much, 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 much more luck in whatever position she has next and good luck to the fashion police producers on finding a new replacement for kelly i don't know who it will be how it will look and yeah so that is my notes my two notes for this week thank you guys for watching my lookbook next week i will be doing a march favorites video where i name a couple of my favorite things for the month of march so make sure you guys check that out next friday at 6 p.m and before I go, another person asked me again if I am recording in my closet. I am not recording in my closet. Why would I sit in my closet? That doesn't even make any sense. Like, I have so much clothes in my closet that I cannot fit in my closet. Like, there's a poster of Kelly Rowland here, and I have fedoras hung on my wall. Like, why would this be my closet? I don't know, but I'm not sitting in my closet again. This is a part of my room that I set up like a little studio where I can take pictures and record. And sit here or read my magazines that I have so this is just another section in my room I have my bed over there I have t my TV like it's a whole big my room is bigger than this this is not my closet <laughs> like I'm even gonna get my iPhone right now and I'm gonna record like a little part so you guys can see that I'm really not sitting in my closet because I'm tired of being asked that question so here you go so as you guys can see I have my camera is like on my dresser because I wanted everybody to see my whole outfit for the lookbook. And let's walk this way. And this is my closet, as you can see, clothes there. And then there you go, Kelly Rowland, the closet where I record right there. And I have a clothing rack in my room with clothes and such. So you can see I am not sitting in my closet. And yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for watching Chimbria's Closet. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week at 6 p.m. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Bria Van Kooten. And my Twitter is the same, at Bria Van Kooten. And check out my fashion blog, briavankooten.blogspot.com. I will see you guys next week. Follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me. I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this lookbook. <laughs> and I'll see you next week for my March favorites. Bye, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.